Hello everybody, welcome to another day of development of Play 2. This is the day number 20. I have been doing uh, this stream for 20 days almost in a row. So good. So far so good. Um, what I have for you today is a switch from the DevOps stuff that I have been doing uh, in the last two days to a more visual um, part of the project, which is the front-end area. Um, and what I have in particular, what I have for today is to create a new screen using React Components of Bootstrap. And this is the screen I'm going to be building. It's the edit profile screen, so when the players join to the site, they can they will have a profile with um, all this information, like um, the avatar, the name, the tags that describe you as a player, some settings, um, things like that. So I will be creating this screen today. And to do that, I will be using uh, React, as I said, uh, Bootstrap 4. And if I have if I need an state, I will doing I will be doing this with Mobex. Uh, today I want to focus just on the visual part, not on the back end to actually save this uh, all this information. That will be the project for the next or the part that we'll be doing next week. Um, and as I said, I will be using a storybook to the de to develop these components. In case you don't know, in a storybook you can have your React com a show is a showcase of your React components, and you can show all the state that the component can have. And you can you have some interactions, you get some logs to see what's going on and what your component is doing. And you can uh, customize it like the toolbar with a name or anonymous user. And you in here, for example, you can select which tab is open. So you can customize the state that your component is going to display. So it's very good for development. Um, let's get started then. Okay, so the first thing we have a title and three sections. Uh, do we have anything in layout here for that? Uh, I think I will be using uh, flex. Yeah, most likely I will be using flex. That will be an item with three. Um, it would be a container. No, that will be one container with the title and the content, and the second one will be the three items of the content, the three main sections. Okay, so um, I think I still don't know. Maybe I will change the the markup. Um, let's see if you have had some component for titles. Okay, headings. Yep, I will be using a heading, obviously, display headings. Yep, um, images I don't need for now, tables, figures. So I'm, I'm checking if there is some component that um, is similar to what we need already, like a title component or something. I don't think so, right? This is the Jumbotron, but um, this is just for is most usually for the land page and uh, not for the internal configuration. Not enough for power for no that's a display. So flex. That's what I will be using. Text alignment. Okay, do just go with flex then. Uh, VS Code. So to have this working, storybook. I already you have to have the storybook running in the background. That's running over here. So let's stay, start with a view. It's going to be a view. Um, so usually the way you should design components is to start with 
don't try to split everything into small components uh, at the beginning. Just create the whole thing and you will be splitting things out when it makes sense. So uh, the new component is going to be page edit profile. And the way this works, I have, which one can I use? Main. So you have a storybook, a story file. Edit profile. Which is basically saying import this component and just show the component without any um, configuration. Okay, now the component. React with prop types. Uh, yeah, I don't need prop types. Not for now. Okay, so uh, that should be it. Where are you? Edit profile, default. Obviously, there is nothing in there. So let's start. Um, do we want to be semantic about this? Um, let's try, yeah. I don't remember, is the uh, oh, section. Yeah, let's go with section. So you will have a section, section which will have a div um, class title, and your title actually is not a div. Let's go with an h1. You are edit profile, edit profile h1, and then you have a body, a content. which is uh, going to have the rest. It's going to have three items that are uh, they have an H2 which is my profile H2 and nothing else for now Yeah, let's put everything into one single container. So my profile settings and delete account. And how do you look? Yep, basically what we specify specified. Um, okay, so let's start. Um, to style this, I usually use style components. So you'll be exporting nothing. Uh, yeah, let's go with the ID roots. I will explain that in a second. Uh, so you are edit page uh, Yep oh, Of course I have to import styled Which is you We are good. Um, so let's start with that. The parent class is going to have display flex. Uh, you are going to be vertical flex direction column. Okay. 
and FUR display flex as well. Actually, before I change this, let me copy the styles over. Um, maybe it's faster if I actually change them here. Of course, I have to make this way smaller. What is my and maybe go to the bottom so you are two then the h1 has a background color of red i'm trying to see if this is actually updated in real time it should it's not Oh, come on. It's one big brown color red. Okay, what's wrong about this edit page? Do I have to start this again? What happened? This should be updating in real time as you, as you change the file. That's uh, the power of edit modules. But this is not picking my styles. Okay, so what's the problem? Um, let's see, I don't have this. What about now? What's the deal with my styles? Style edit page and edit page should be the section. Oh, the class name. Yes, yes, yes. So to for style to work, you have to take care of passing the class name to your component. Otherwise it doesn't work. You can see, now it works. And now this works in real time. I think, let's change this to blue. Yeah, could be a little bit faster, but that would, that would have to do it. Okay, and then you have, uh, let me pick the right color. Ah, uh, it's an image. Um, Oh, come on, man. How do you work? Lock position control. Okay, so you are. Um, one seventy four, seventy one fifty four. Not dollar, this is a person. Oh wow, no, that's not it. Okay, still not the same.
Uh, that's better. So I guess native values. To be honest, I never use this color picker. No, not native values. No, definitely not. Do you know what? Um, let's just skimp. And I can compare which value should they get. So uh, let me take a screenshot. Well, the color is. What's going on? Copy image. Image fine. Create from Killy Pole. Color selector. And you are. Okay, so this is the old one. This is the same color that Gimps picks. 201, 56, 51. So is. Um, no, don't save anything. Is a uh, sRGB. Okay. Oh, come on, copy tabs. Don't copy. I mean, copy commas, not tabs. Okay, good enough. And the text is obviously white. And um, I need a license of um, Sketch to see this better. Um, do you know, if you know a uh, Sketch viewer, sorry. If you know of any sketch viewer that actually allows me to interact with the page and see what are the fonts, the sizes, the colors, things like that, please let me know in the in in a comment or in a tweet because I'm really interested in that. Um, I guess I can get a license. I don't know how much it is. Probably not cheap. And then. Let's see, uh, margin, actually padding of uh, 40 pixels. Now, um, wait, I have a debugger in there. Let me make this big again. Um, yeah, let's await that for now. So this is more like padding, top is 40, um, no, sorry, top is 20, 40. Bottom is 20 and left is 40 pixels again. Yeah, um, so I'm just doing some CSS that is a bit approximated. I don't want to have the, the exactly the same one because I don't have. Um, So let's go with this and 
text shadow. Can I just specify an alpha? So let's go, I don't know, CCC and SBG, we are going to be um, 100, 100. No, this will be 0, 0, 0, and I would play with the alpha, 0 0.1. And you are going to, to go down one pixel. And nope. Nothing happening. Oh, it's RTPA, of course. So this is five, and you are five. I don't know. Five, maybe one. Okay. Um. No, you're just down, and you are. Let me see. A bit, a bit less. So it's four and zero. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, so you are zero and four pixels, and let's go point two. Yeah, good enough. I need the, the, the I know the, the font face is not that one, but that that would be that would do it. Um, okay. So the problem I'm having, I'm thinking how to do this margin because something I did for the toolbar which is here I always uh, assume that it was being center but it's not is the whole margin of the page uh, where are you you the whole margin of the page um, is used for the toolbar for the title and for the content so uh, I will have to think about that. Now let's go with H2. Um, this is a text decoration. You're going to be uh, no, this is not the text decoration. Is font um, variant. Automatic. You uppercase. Text transform uppercase and font, I don't know, 24 pixels. Uh, let's go with 20 pixels. Yeah, why not? Um, so you are there, and then your section. you have a margin, a padding of I don't know, 40 pixels as well. You are actually, I think, more um, font width. Is font weight right? Test weight. <sighs> Font weight, yes. Font weight. This autocomplete is not good. No. 
which one did I change? Did you change? You did. Let's go with rims. Uh, phone weight of zero. And da, 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 da. then each one has the content to add panel. Shift Command C. Yes. Um, mm -mm. Yeah, I think I need a sketch to get this this right. I don't want to uh, made up the styles and the colors. Sketch. Uh, pricing. No. Review your design. I can use that. Is that what? No, I don't want to see this on uh, iOS. Okay, uh, can I get a trial? I already have my trial and I... Um, <sighs> yeah. Um, probably this is not going to work if I just delete it. Cask uninstall sketch. Search for a sketch then. Oh, so I install this just um, by copying. So if I, I'm going to move this away from um, my apps, see if that reset the trial, I'm pretty sure it will not. Because, you know, they are not idiots, they know what they do. Um, where is the sketch? Don't lose the sketch. Yeah. This is very dodgy. I'm sorry, sketch. I even have friends working on the sketch. But I just need a viewer, I don't need the whole thing.
I just need to view the sketch, the actual file, not the... I don't want to see an image. I want to see the real thing. You want know it? No. Hmm. Can I? Because I know the sketch file is just a um. A zip file. So you rename this, you usually can open it. Okay, so this has all the images, page, Right. So let's see if an older version of a sketch works. No, uh, with this trick. And then see the application. Oh yeah, it works. Oh my god. Um, question is, can I open my old file? I don't know if the files I have are for a newer version of a sketch. First, let me rename it back. Uh, documents. Play two. Sketch. No, I see, it's, it's an old one. Okay, um, so I guess I will have to do with the image. So, which means what I'm going to do then is don't focus that much on the design because I don't want to you know, uh, made up the margins and the colors and the fonts and, and whatnot just to, fit, to find out that they are wrong because I just made it that up. Um, do, 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 okay. 
so you can go out. Now, uh, let me just then create this form for this upload. Okay. So, uh, to the, what are you? Storybook. The my profile form is going to have. It has a closing tag. Does does not? Oh uh, yeah, it has to be close. Okay, so we have the fields. Yes, username, type, uh, text, class name. Yeah, why not? Username. And then the help, which is what should people call you? What should people call you? And you are uh, username help. What is this text mute? Okay, so how do you look actually? Uh, yeah, I don't know what the text mute is. Label for username. It has the the. Label has four. There does put the West to see the label with a control nesting by wrapping a control in a label tag, which is not what it did. ID by using the prop HTML4 as an ID, ID of the control. So you have ID username and then HTML username. What do you like it? Is because the order? Don't, don't do that to me. No? Anyway, um, so what other fields do we have? Uh, your tags. Let's let's for now only do that one. I'm going to do the. I want to do the server for this. Okay, um, for this component, I mean, I mean. Okay, so how this is going to work is
let's um, let's let's extract it. So this will have um, const. Username edit. Username edit. And you will have this, and you will render username edit. Okay. And then you go to your own file. Which is in views, new folder, username, edit. You create a new index.gsx here. And a view. And you just uh, import username, edit from that other component. Okay, just it worked. Cool. cool. Now, um, use your name edit. You are going to be a connected component. So you're going to be actually presentation, and you're going to have an index.js and your um, username edit which gets the username from the store. Let's do that for now. Okay, what's wrong with you? For level must have an assist control. It does. You know what? Let me just disable that rule. It was GSX accessibility um, form label. Label hash four. Okay, much better. Uh, what's your problem? Class name doesn't have props. I know. Uh, edit page dot prop types prop types are uh, equal to um, class name is a prop types um, string and is required. Okay, everybody's green, everybody's happy. Um, okay, and for this guy, let me also create a story, but this one is going to be a bit different. Because I'm going to hack or change the mock of the store to actually provide a username. So this story is username with a username. Okay, so you clone the mock, and then you say store user username. Let's call this uh, Batman. Why not? And then with provider, we just render username edit. And none of this. So username edit, username. Okay, it's just our controller. Uh, because I want to. So, for example, when I pass the username, this connected component receives the username, so this guy receives the username, which is a uh, username edit prop, prop types. Username is a string and is not required 
because the default props is going to set a username by default is an empty string all good and then you render Oh my god, sorry about that. Um, your value is going to be the username. Okay, so there you go. Why are you read only? Input type text, this value, this class name. What am I missing? Why this is not editable? Because you are not in a form, maybe? Doesn't make sense. <coughs> oh, because it's a control component. Okay, 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 okay. okay. To provide a value prop to a form field with an unchanged handler, we render right only field. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the the way this is going to work, when the user stops typing for a couple of seconds, it will send a request to the server to see if the username is valid or not, and if it is, set it for the user. That makes sense. Um, no, it does not. Uh, I need a save button. Okay. Um, button, let's say that I have a save button here. And the way this will work is username change changed. Yes, so when this changes, let's, let's do this for now. It's going to file this um, function. It's required. Required. And by default, it's going to show this um, here. Username change is not a function. Yeah, it's not. Because I'm not passing it. So username change will be we come from actions, actions, change, username. 
and for now it will log in it will log no username changed oh because I, have, I don't have, I don't have the actions so for the storybooks I have a plugin or a, or a wrapper that automatically creates um, mocks methods for all my actions but I do have to declare the action so the action uh, is username chain not changes change change username change username and it's going to do nothing for now so that's the action and then change username is nothing Uh, yes, so every time I change it, it will fire this method. Okay, um, something this will do is in the UI say this store UI. Um, Edit field, no, edit username changed is going to be true. Um, yes, store and the UI store, you have a new observable, and by default, it's false. Now, um, something I want to do now is if the action has been changed, if the element, if the username has been changed, I want to show the save button. Otherwise, I don't want to. So, is there T comes from store UI edit username change? So, the is dirty and then. No, no, there, not there. Presentation is dirty. Now, you is if it's dirty, then show the save button. Uh, else nothing and I have to add a validator for this which is a boolean and by default it's going to be false okay and now I can to see if this works you will do that in a different story so here it will be dirty and then I just say store UI. Um, what was the name of this again? Cool. So I will have two stories. One is with the normal state, the other one is dirty state. That's done. Um, What else can we do? Um, so what I want to do now is when the component is um, changing, I want to make a request to the set to the backend to see if the new username that the user is entering is um, valid or not. So. Um, Validation.
Oh, HTML form validation applied to PSCSS to single selectors. Cool. Okay. For customers. So is valid art is invalid. So uh, let's start with the stories. Valid, it will be edit name is valid, is true, and then I will have the story of invalid, username is valid, is false, and it has to be dirty. Doesn't make sense to have a valid form that is not dirty. Uh, okay, so that's done. Let me create this guy here as well before I forget. Edit username is valid. And then the connected component is, is valid. Comes from here. And then here we will have is valid. Which will um, be not defined. And by default, we said that, yeah, you are. By default, what are you by default? By default, you are valid. And I need to import class names from class names as well because I'm going to have an extra class name. Actually, who has the is valid thingy? The input, okay. So you, so your class name is going to be class name, and then you are an object that says is valid. So you pass this one if is valid is true. And your part is invalid. Um, now this is too much. I can just do an expression that says if it's valid, then you return this one, else you return this one. No, that's not what I want. This one. Uh, ta -ta -ta. What else? I need to close this, I need to close this. Oh yeah, you have a class name as well. So cool. Let's see if this works out of the box. That would be super cool. Valid, invalid, valid, invalid. Sorry, if no, this is actually <sighs> let's, let's do this instead the first idea was was uh, correct so is valid is only passed if is valid and is dirty and is invalid is if not is valid and is dirty So, dirty says red. All right, because I need some. Um, 
this is working and by default I need to pass some property. Actually, this has more states because I want to show a small spinner when this is actually checking on the server. So, um, either I pass multiple booleans, which is going to be um, a nightmare because it will be a lot of combinations like is loading yes or no, is dirty yes or no, and is valid yes or no. Mm. Or I just pass a string that says the state, as in valid, invalid, checking. That seems more reasonable. So let's see, state is going to be an expression that says. Um, so if edit user is checking is true, then you return uh, checking. Else, if it's valid, you return. Valid, else you return invalid. Uh, okay, I will do this right. Return this, no. Um, and then state is going to be something for example then state is just uh, just a state. And then I do the dance here. So if this is checking, then you just return checking. If it's not checking, if it's not checking, uh, if it's not checking, and is not valid. So if it's valid, you return valid. So what the first time you edit it, this see it has to be in one of these. Else you return invalid. Okay, so you are the state. And we have what? Username is valid, username is checking. Um. Actually, I need more states. If store UI. change it, then we run this, else we return, what do we return, um, not change it, we return, this API is horrible, don't like this API at all, Let's see how this how does this look in the um, 
container type. So is valid is if state is equal to valid. Uh, is invalid if state is invalid and um, checking if the state is checking and then if state is not equal If it's actually if state is valid, then so if only only if this is valid, we show the show button, the save button. So uh, again, the combinations we have is let's say is dirty and valid, dirty and invalid. This is dirty and checking. So this is my username, and then um, username changed. And which one? Eight username is valid. You. So it's dirty and valid. Now, next one. You are dirty and invalid. Dirty and checking means that username is checking. Is true, and then that's it because this is the not chains, not chains. So not chains does there. Valid is green with the button. Invalid is red, no button, and checking. I don't have anything yet. Um, how is this implemented? Okay. So for control I need to bring up the CSS. No, I don't have the CSS yet. So, sport by default, it's styled. Styled, uh, username edit with this property. Um, hold on. Style. I need to import this, of course. Hold on. Um, so you are checking border um, yellow for now. I might have, I mean, this is a way of doing it with classes, with internal classes, which is probably not bad. The other way is to use props here and specify the border color based on the props. Don't know which one is better. 
and we set that for you to work I have to pass class name so this is class name your form group plus class name uh, class name let's use this let's use this this method this helper uh, and yeah it doesn't have props it's a string and it's not required because the default is an empty string uh, is this yellow yeah it's just too dark to see um, so let me pick a darker yellow that one, for example Ooh. now this is actually not showing it right because it's just border color okay so the three states now when it's invalid I want to show a spinner Mm -mm -mm. Display spinner inside input. Um, maybe we can play just with the background like this Can you change the background of a button? No, you can't, right? Yes, you can. So what's the problem? Uh, gradient to input background okay so yeah, that's what they want Oh wait, it's working. Um Can I just repeat this?
So that's what they want to do. Candy stripes. Yeah, maybe background is too much. No, not that. I just want a simple um, Yeah, this I want that. Nah, I don't want that. Not by no, I don't want to use an image for that. This is um animated spinner. Let's try with the spinners. So I just want like I just want a line. Um That's probably not important now. Okay, so what I want to do is actually um, what are the next steps for this? So I want to make the call to the backend that tells me if this is uh, this username is available or not and I'm thinking what would be the best way to do this um, in a more RPC style you will implement a method that says it's available if you go with REST, what? If you go with REST, you will create an URL that tells you, I don't know, the ID of the user. Is that data leakage? Is that okay? I guess I guess that's okay. Um, yeah, just to get the ID of an user. Yeah, that is internal. It doesn't uh, tell you anything. Mm. Yeah, this should be public. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a GraphQL method when you can ask for a user for a particular ID and if it returns null, it means that it is available. Yeah, sounds reasonable. <sighs> oh my god. Um... But I think I will do that tomorrow because today I'm, I don't know why I'm very tired. I didn't sleep, uh, slept very well tonight. So tomorrow I will, I will first try to find something to actually get, uh, to watch uh, sketch uh, files to the actual file, not just the, um, you know, not just the image. So I can see the, the colors and the sizes and, and whatnot. Um, yeah, and implement, if I can do that, that would be nice. Else I will implement the um, 
backend for making this call for the input, which is check if the username is valid or not. Um, because I have to make sure this was running in a storybook, I need to run this in the real server. And that's going to take me a while because I was, as you might know, I was playing with um, Kubernetes and trying to move this from Docker Compose to uh, Minikube and I managed to break it today, so it's not working at the moment. So I think this today is going to be a bit shorter just because I don't have those tools ready, so apologies for that. Anyway, so that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, if you do, please subscribe to Twitch. I also upload all the videos to YouTube and the link is in the Twitch description. Please subscribe there if you want to see when, when I upload a new video from a past session. And follow me on Twitter, the handle is over here, if you want to get notifications when I'm about to start, to start a new stream. Um, thank you for watching, thank you for being there, I really appreciate it, and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.